one. There we go. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you, Sherilyn. You're out of school, right? Yay. So I missed last week because I was in Utah visiting family, which was a really fun time, but busy time. So it's good to be back. I hope a few more can join. So what I'm going to do today is go through, open up some packages that I have. Yay, Sherilyn. <laughs> oh. I know today is supposed to be 90 something and so is tomorrow. So since I've been home, I got home on Sunday. So since I've been home, we planted the vegetable garden, pulled all the grass out of my flower bed and then planted flowers. And we've worked really hard to get that done so that we can be inside when it's so warm. But 90 something today and tomorrow. And usually on Thursday mornings I have Bible study, but I don't have it this summer. So I don't have a time limit that I have to follow. And I'm late today because um, Jim came home from working out. I don't work out on Thursdays and we chatted a little bit and anyhow, yeah, it's hot for this early in the year, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain at all. I just hope my, our plants survive with it this hot. But it was a good feeling last night at 9.30 p.m. when I finished putting the last flowers in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. And I think I will start opening a few of the things that I... Um, have purchased from different people online. And then I have a special thing I want to share. I actually had two gifts in one week from people online during online op um, online offer ups or just purchases. And I never had done that before. And one of them was an album of Maggie White's which I have wanted one of hers for a long time. So I'm going to share that with you. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of rain, Sherilyn. A lot of rain. Yeah, we have been working on our house for four years. And... It was because of rain. Well, it was a wet snow. And we flooded. And I know many people in our area did. Actually, our subdivision, almost everyone here did. And we had never gotten wet like that before in our basement. So we now have a sump pump. But it's been four years getting it all done. So we start with the basement and worked our way upwards so i still have lots of little things to do but we'll get it done anyways yeah i'm not going to complain about the heat today especially when i can be inside where it's nice and warm okay i'm going to switch cameras and what are you going to be working on today Sherilyn? I just want to show you, we're, we'll get to these later. 
Um, this is my Callista album, my great granddaughter. And so I finally got the covers completely thin. It, well, not completely. I still have the inside to do. So um, I was, couldn't decide whether I was going to give it to mom, to my granddaughter, or if I was going to give it to my daughter. And um, so I ended up making two of them, which was fun. But at least they're done. I've been working on these for a long time. And what these are, are just those, um, oh, okay, Sherilyn. Um, these are just those little artist boards that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I've noticed now, I can see if I can find a package, but I don't see one. Um, I noticed now, because they were coming two to a package, and now they are coming in just one, and they're thicker. So I'm tempted to go down there today when I have to run errands and just grab the ones, the five by sevens. So when I initially, so anyway, so that's what the, that's what these are here, covered. So when I in, initially started this, I was going to put, this on here, tone this down, put this on here, and then the colors don't look good together. So I will use this for something else, but because I really do like it. <coughs> so anyways, I've made two of them, and then I just <coughs> need to do the inside here, which I will. I will before we're done. And so, and I found these thought that went really well with it but we'll see I'll probably change my mind before it's over with okay white so I said that I would be working on these two and I don't know why I use the word work because it's not really work it's play and I plan on doing a lot more of it now that we've almost got the house done I know there's so much to do still. So, anyways, let's open a few packages. Ta-da! My husband just looks at me when I get packages from the post office. Like, but it's um, with my stamping up money. So, I don't feel bad. And he's, he's good and kind, so it's good. Oh, I probably shouldn't be doing that. I'm putting people's addresses out there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. I usually start with what order I receive them in. So, we will do this one first. Yeah, I have so many projects that I'm working on right now that, and so many I'd like to do, so many I should be doing and fish, finishing up. Okay, this is from Carla um, at Carla's Crafty Corner, and she does online sales too. She's fun. I love her laugh. Good morning. <laughs> okay. So these are just some purchases I made, and I'll get to you. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way. Oh, yeah, these were vintage napkins, like cocktail napkins. And, of course, I love butterflies, so... Little flowers... And they just, they almost feel like cloth. Oh, look at that. So these will be fun to decoupage on something. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, they almost feel like cloth, they're, but they're so thin. Look at this. Wow. You can see right through it. 
Yeah, those will be fun. So I've actually started, I'm not a big napkin. I have not done that. So I actually have started um, a little box to put my napkins in. But, you know, then you have to divide florals, blah, 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 blah. So this is the same. And then here are birds and some more florals, I think. Just amazing the difference in the fill and texture of these. Look at that. There's so many different ones. I love it. Ooh, this one's pretty. This would be pretty for fall. Okay. Okay. Oops, sorry. There. <clears throat> if I was echoing, I'm sorry. Okay, so those are fun. Keep them protected. And then here are, oh, here's some more. And look at, this is, this is me every day. I don't, no, I don't know that these are vintage ones, but aqua turquoise colored with butterflies. Love them. Those will be fun. I have several of those. Yay. <clears throat> it's always fun to see what you get. Yeah, they are. I... I actually, as a young, well, I don't know, teenager, I suppose, um, used to collect napkins. Like if we go to a restaurant, and I think I finally just threw them all away many years ago because I had packed them around forever, and they were, you know, like keepsakes. And I don't know why I started doing it. I just did. <clears throat> but I don't know. Maybe I'll run across them, but I kind of think I got rid of them. But it would be fun to, to see those now. All right, here are a few more. Yeah, they're so thin. That's This is pretty. Very pretty. So greens, and this is actually very light yellow, that flower. Blues. Love it. Yeah, it's been, uh, what I was saying is I have a little notebook here that I start writing things down when I purchase it. And I've got to be better at it. Yeah, I wished I had them, Sherilyn. But that's one of the few things I wished I had. Um and it's only because I've gotten into journaling and um, junk journals, those kind of things. Otherwise, I don't think I would have missed them. Because I try not to regret what I do. So, And here's one I thought would be fun to go in a journal or on something for one of my granddaughters. Cute, huh? I have stamps that are little makeups and lipsticks and stuff. So that would be really cute. Maybe even for a birthday card. Yeah. And our downstairs is finished, but we had been storing everything in the garage. And now that um, the garage is... So I told my husband, I will empty the garage so we can park in there again. But then we had to move the boxes somewhere. So guess where they came? Back downstairs. So today that's part of my project is going through stuff. So, okay. So here is some. Sorry. I love it. 
Look at that. I know there's so many people that do sar the sari, but they're all still so different. Greens and purples and blues. And look at this one. Even has a little of the design on it. So there's that one. There's, wow. If you could see this in real life, this purple is so vibrant. So vibrant. Pretty, pretty. And this again would be fall. Nice fall colors. I'm not ready for fall, but it would be fall. Nice fall colors. And then just a packet of lace. A little pin for a thank you. She's such a sweetheart. Usually she pops on. But this time of year, you just never know what's happening because people are so busy outside. So, Sherilyn, do you have big plans for the summer? Ah? Hmm. Well, don't know what I did with my bag. That's okay. We'll just lay them right there. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Yeah, if I had kept everything, oh my gosh. <laughs> First when, we were, when I was young, we didn't have much, but um, we have such an abundance anymore. All right, this is from oh Ethelus Unique Boutique, but that is not her. I hope it's. I don't think it says in here. Fun stuff, though. Okay, here we go. Fragile. Okay. So those are some of the... These are some of those little bags. That'd be fun in journals. I see lots of people using them. Okay. And then these are lava beads that you can put oils on. So I got some of those, and then this is just a little charm. Let's see if, how this works. I, it feels so good not to have to hurry. I know, it'll feel good just to be able to craft and not worry about other things. I might have to... There's my, uh, there they are. Grab my glasses. I just got back from Utah. Like I said, it was so much fun. One of my granddaughters had choir concerts. I got there on Monday. So her choir concerts were Monday and Tuesday. And then both my daughter and my other granddaughter are school teachers. So they've had hectic... You know, trying to be prepared for, okay, for the end of the year. So there's lava bead, so it absorbs the oils. And I'm not really into oils a lot, but I am a little bit. Um, 
anyhow, you probably know Sherilyn. Yeah, right? Who I got these from because I think you help with that channel. Anyhow, so I got this. I love the filigree. And I'll have to find a little. There. Anyways, a little chain to put on that. Okay. Thanks for joining me today, Sherilyn. I haven't got to chat with you for a long time. To just chat, chat. Okay. There's that. And then here were the pins that they had. And she had beads. So, like, there's nothing here. And she has and this comes undone she had beads but i missed out on the beads that you would put on here and this is kind of sparkly this pen base so but i think i'll look and see if i have some beads that will fit it what a neat idea huh fun okay there are those Oh, and see, I don't know that much about those, about Young Living. I'll look it up. I know that you, do they call them distributors for that? Okay, so put that in there. And then these are just some pieces of, I'll try to stay in frame. Oops, I better put this away. Okay. These are so pretty. And I'm not a big brassy gold person, but I can color these. I just love the intricate of them. And I love this leaf. Love leaves. Those are neat. Love them. Okay. Here's that. And then this is some ledger paper. 1933. That's funny. This is like a year after my dad was born. He was born in June. But I like that. And it's, oh, here's pen. There's pencil. It's so neat to see it in real life. You know, you can look on the screen. Okay, Sherry. I'm going to write that on here because I knew she had another name. Because I always have good intentions of Sherry. I always have good intentions of writing all this stuff down before I come on, but I never do get it done. So, all right. And most of this is in pencil, which I find interesting for notes. You know, a record, an official record for a club. And then here is some in pen. I could turn it this way. This just has a different feeling to it, you know, than the ledgers you see today. Okay. SH. Okay. Thanks. Because, of course, I did spell it the other way, and I knew that, too. I'm just going to put that on here. 
Okay. I'll put this away. Okay, thank you. But I'm putting this back in the package. So what I'm doing is just opening some of the purchases that I have made. And some of them have sat there for a while. Actually, this one was from June. I think I just received this. One. So, yeah, I got it out of my mailbox two days ago. I can't believe it's June. Crazy, crazy. All right, so then I think we will open this one, and it is from Pam Perella. Oh, and I got this too, some Nouveau, which I have purchased some of these from Maddie, Spectrum Art Creations too, so, but not just like this. I got this, well, this is a spray. Hang on. Or not. No, this isn't. This is the, I don't know what they are. This is just something I've started playing with. Okay, that came from Cheryl, too. Hey, Sandy Garrett. How are you this morning? Thanks for joining us. So is that a, that must be a good place to go because my husband and I, before COVID hit, I had finally convinced him we should go do something for one of our anniversaries. And I really don't want to go to Hawaii. But I was thinking of some place, you know, like, okay, you said you were going... Hang on, I'm going to go back up here to Alabama. And so Orange Beach, is that a good place, a fun place? It's a nice place. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Oh, I'm so bad about showing addresses. Orange Beach. Okay. So hopefully we can still go someday. Okay. So this is from Pam and Corella. And she sells on CCC Market. I'm sure that's where I got these things at. Too sorry for the noise. Okay, more buttons. <laughs> I have a button obsession. Hi, David. Thanks for joining this morning. I'm just showing some of the goodies I purchased the last month or so. Probably the last week or so. <laughs> These are fun. So I just found a new thrift store here. It's not really new, but they moved to a bigger building. And... They do such amazing, like this. They'll do this, the thrift store, instead of, oh, and then they have some in jars. and But you can tell they spend time, and those ladies really care. And I have found some really neat things there. In fact, I'll sh I don't have it laying here. I was going to show you a book I got there, but it might still be upstairs. Okay, these are from Pam, but look at, aren't they cool? Pam Perella. And I think I got some of these with the anchor from her before. One of my brothers was in the Navy, so I thought that would be fun to put on the front of a book for him. Actually, he's the brother that I raised, so... He's kind of like my own kid, too, even though he's only eight years younger than me. He 
Yeah, I do you know what I um somewhere in one of the boxes that had been packed up, I have oh, I don't know. I can't even tell you how many jars of buttons I've gotten over the years. But I don't even have them out right now because they're still in a box somewhere. Okay, I'm froze. Oh, no, I'm not. I was just talking. Okay, then this was exciting for me, too. I... Pam had sent me one of these. In fact, I might have it laying here as a thank you when I purchased from her before. Yeah, I thought I had it laying here, but I don't see it. Anyhow, and so when she brought these out to sell at the last CCC market, I jumped on them. So, look at them. And you know these are old. And they're just pieces, but you could use them for a journal cover. You could use them on a page. You could cut them and use them as a little pull. But it's all hand-stitched. At least front to the backing is. In just a second, I will look and see. Yep. These are hand stitched too. The seams. Love them. That looks like bark cloth right there. But cute. Look at that. I'll just flip through these really fast. I don't know if she has any of these left, but they're just the perfect size. And I have sold quilt pieces, blocks that um, I know I love quilt. See, I like everything, though. But I had found some quilts at another thrift store here in town. And um, somebody had cut like a big old chunk out of each one of them. They must have been making something. So you couldn't really fix them. So I cut them up into blocks and had sold them. And then I saved some pieces out for my great granddaughter. See, look at that is neat so that is not even the muslin like the first one oh well see look at what we missed the backs of them and see it's already distressed for me and that one was put on it looks like upside down They just utilized everything because they didn't have, and those two have muslin, they didn't have much. That's muslin again. And then here is a piece of corduroy. Very thin. So pretty. Yeah, it's very vintage. I like this one a lot. Look at the the aqua with pink flowers. So most of these are like in those little rectangle. But look at this one. Look how this piece is pieced in here. Oh, fun. Look at that fabric. Looks like notebook paper. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Pam. All right. I have 
a little one here. And this is from Lorna, so I know what this is. Lorna Taylor. Taylor made journals. So she has an Etsy shop in case any of you don't know or if you're watching later. Yeah, I'm glad you guys made connections, Sherilyn and Sandy. So, Lorna is making stamps now. And, ooh, sorry. She did a good job in wrapping it. So I don't remember if this was her first one. Oh, I'm so bad about that. Okay, hang on. I should have had this one at least partway open. Funny. Almost there, almost there. Okay, here we are. Almost. <laughs> and then when I finish opening this, I'm going to open Maggie's journal. And yes, Maggie, I did get it. I meant to text you back last night, but I was out in the flower bed till 930 well, after the baseball game. Okay, so this is how it came. See, this is... Actually, it's two stamps. And she does such a neat packaging. So it's this and that. And she's heat embossed that. And then the detail. This is very thick paper, too. And then she's done a wax seal. I love that these are coming back into style. I did them when I was a teenager. Okay, so no, I don't want to ruin that. That's fun. Wow, look at him. Neat. Okay, and so then she's done it. So I think, yep, yeah, sticky. Nope. Anyways, you could put glue on there and put it on a block. I actually use, I think it was, because I used to do this with my Stampin' Up stamps when I took them off the wood blocks. I think I used, no, this wasn't it. I'll have to figure it out because it left a little bit of a tack. And then there's the vintage one. That's the one I thought was so neat, too. Well, they both are. Nice packaging. Lorna. Oh, there's a reminder. Sorry, I thought I had my phone off. Yeah, that's nice. So she has those on her Etsy shop. Well, she may be out of these. She only does a limited supply. So, but I know she's doing more. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to get to this. So here we go. So this was gifted to me by Lini Osborne. <clears throat> and I have wanted a Maggie journal for a long time. Her and I both bid. Yeah, let's do this first. Penny, this journal is a gift from Lenny Lini. Added a few extra goodies for you to play with, Maggie. Okay. So here's these. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if you've ever seen the things Maggie White does with laces, but it's amazing. 
so there's so many wonderful people on these channels all right so there's these and these some of them may be esme's and some probably i don't know they're beautiful but some might be esme's and i think they are because it just they're that nice of laces look at this one Oh, and it has the little roses. We might set this one out to put in Callista's journal. So I'll put it over there. There's that. Very, very pretty. Oh, and this one has such a nice feel to it. I love them. Thank you, Maggie. So hard to see when I put the put them back here. Look at that detail in those. Okay, here we go, girls and boys. Sparkles. I'm going to move these. Look at that. Very pretty. And there's one in blue. And then, of course, Maggie's favorite color. Purple. Well, this is lilac, but I know she likes it. It just amazes me the detail they can do. Because see, this look like little feathers. So pretty. There's the back. Which is almost as pretty as the front. Okay. Wait, but wait. Look at here. I love these. See, these I can just take apart right there. And look at, oh my goodness. Lots of those to play with. Love it, love it, love it. Hi, Sherilyn. Thanks for stopping. Have fun crafting today. Oh, love them. I might have to. I do have a drawer for lace, but I might have to have a drawer for very nice lace now, too. Because I purchased a few from Esme. All right, here we go. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Le Leanie. This is her Into the Woods. Oh, and then it came with this. Which is so pretty. Look at this lace on the edge. Okay. So this is her Into the Woods. And it's Lorna's Digi Kit. That's called that. Into the Woods. And these do. Patty had mentioned on um, when Maggie sold this on her channel. Patty Lang's channel that these look so dimensional and they do and they're just flat paper flowers but they look like they stand out this is so pretty i love it and the little birds all the pretty lace and i love these little flowers added there i will treasure this forever I just love it. This says create in the little mushroom. Oh, look at Maggie has her own stamp. That's so fun. Oh, 
Okay, I might be quiet while I'm doing this because, oh, look at, I love all the, it looks so textured and layered, even though it's not, it looks like it. So, and it looks like uh, Maggie has inked it, like both of these, but it's just like, I don't no, she hasn't. It's just like a little brown edge that was made when the digi kit was made. Okay, this goes back in here. And this is called Into the Woods. Oh, I love how this is done. Let me look. Oh, look, it's a piece of fabric. That is just, did you sew it, Maggie? Hang on. Let's, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's bound like that. Oh, and look at these, how textured. All right, we're going to go back. I love it. Okay, sorry. I just have to see how she did this. Love it, love it. Okay, here we go. And she did show this on Patty Lang's channel when she was selling. But I, and you know, if you've ever gotten any of these, that it never, I don't know, they're just so much better in real life. Ferns. Hang on. Okay, and I love how she's torn and edged the, the edging. A little clock. This looks like a coffee filter. Not sure that it is. Okay, and here's a little pocket. Oh, that's fun. And a gold paper clip with this. Oh, it's an envelope. Ooh, there's more in there. Yeah, I love how this is. Looks already like it's been distressed. Okay, go back in there. It's so fun to finally have a Maggie journal in my hands. I really, really, really appreciate it, Mimi. Oh, look. So nice. I love this bird. See, and they just look so layered. Lorna does a wonderful job. Because this looks so dimensional to me. Even in real life. See, in lots of places to journal, which gives me inspiration to do so. Stitched. Ah, look, no file folder. In the back of it. And then let's see what's in here. More mushrooms. And then this is a little card. Florals. Looks like on ledger paper. So pretty. Okay, get that back in there. I just love it. Okay, and this one in this envelope. I'm going to make some of these today, these envelopes. Okay, we might not get to Callista's journal <laughs> today. I might have to do that on another one. So much dimension, it looks like. 
And then she's added, these look like just newspaper clippings. And look at here. See, and you can use this in anything. This page. If this is part of the kit, this is what I would do. Let me show you. Okay, so on... Um, my Callista kit... Uh, it's it's back porch prints, but this is off of I think a Lorna the Rose um, kit she does, and so this is what I do is just put it on the back. So when I'm using this, then I've got it on both sides. But this would be a neat page to do that too. See. Because it looks like it's layered papers. And you could journal on it. The little, very light, but it has the little lines. Okay. And here's an envelope. With some more mushrooms. Can you just imagine walking through the woods? If we take time to really look around, right? And be appreciative of everything. And then a little piece of lined paper. These are either coffee or tea dyed. Ooh, I love that one. And I know when she was selling this on Patty's channel on Sacred Mementos that she you know, talked about like these extras. I don't remember all that. So there's the center. Oh, look at butterflies. My favorite. So anyone who knows me knows I love butterflies and turquoise or aqua. But, you know, that color family. Postcard. Yep, lots of writing room. That's what I love. Then here is, I love with the, this paper back here too. It just fit in so well. A couple more tags. Mushrooms. Okay, and here, okay, and this is stitched here with lots of goodies inside. So here's another file folder. Ooh, this is really cute. Look at that. This is beautiful. The bling right there. I love that. Let's see what else is in here. Another tag. Those are nice, nice, nice. So I'm sitting here thinking of fibers I have that I can put on these tags that would go really well with it. So I'll have to get those out. That is one thing I do have organized are my ribbons and fibers and the colors. So I know where all that is. Okay, that box got unpacked. <laughs> okay, here's some more of the mushrooms and a pocket and the slides out. Ooh, on very thin paper. I love the sound of that. Ooh, this is nice. Look. I think this might, well, I'm not sure. It might be part of the kit. I love it. But it's not real. It looks like a real old postcard. Okay. So if this is um, Maggie White's journal that was a gift to me from Leany. 
which is very much appreciated. And I'm surprised I'm not crying right now because I was shocked and just very thankful for it. Very generous of her. That's a neat stamp. Lots of texture in it and on this page. Ooh, that's so neat. Nicely done, Maggie. And I love how you did this. Love it. So another little word that says flowers. More takes. More takes. And more takes. And those will be so fun putting fiber on. Even green. The green and brown. And kind of that orangey rust color would be pretty. All right. And then there's more of those. Now, these aren't cut out. That's part of the paper. But it still looks so dimensional. I just love the colors in it. So this is a journal from Maggie White that Lini um, gave to me as a gift. And I'm very thankful for. And I am going to keep it um, and maybe just write things that I observe in nature in it. That would be a neat thing for it. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I think we've spent a lot of time on here already. Hi, Carol. Oh, fun, Carol. Thank you. Yes. Not that I did it. Maggie did it. But isn't it beautiful? She does such a great job. Such a great job. So all them goodies. So I showed lots of goodies that um, I had purchased and I was gifted. So that was fun. I know a lot of people say, how do you wait? Well, because I want to share with you. I want to give credit to these wonderful, wonderful people who spend their time creating wonderful things for us. So I'm just going to go back to this for a minute. And this is, and I'm not going to stay on here. I think I will um, go ahead and get off here in a few minutes and work on my Callista journals. So I had one, now I have two. Because I could not decide whether to give it to my daughter for her granddaughter or my granddaughter for her daughter. So I'm making two of them. And I have these outside covers done. I have the papers picked out for the inside. And um, I was going to use this. And I mentioned this at the front. When I first started this. I had this one and had toned it down with white paint. And I had put this on the front. Say this is the front, but it's not. But it didn't go at all. So this I'll have to use for something else now. Which I love it, but we're going to use it for something else. So I do have this part of these done. And I am going to work on these today and then maybe I'll come on later and um, show you guys what I accomplished. I'll do a flip through because I'm hoping to get these done today so that they're ready. My family's coming for the 4th of July. So anyhow, I absolutely I'm going to adore these. I've already printed pictures out, which was what was taking me so long. But since I've been to Utah now and seen everyone and took more pictures, I'm going to have to print some more pictures out. I have a feeling. So um, as soon as I get that done, then I can really work on these. But I appreciate those who came by for showing up. And... 
it's always nice to have you guys here and i will i'll share these here in a few days because i plan on getting them done but thank you for joining me you guys have a wonderful day and have fun crafting and making art we'll talk to you soon thank you